Shilankas former president Godbaya Rajapaksha left for the United States of America with his family on Monday. Rajapaksha was forced out of office earlier this year following the country's economic crisis and unprecedented protests. Sri Lanka is currently facing an economic crisis while it waits for the IMF to formally approve 2.9 million US dollar bailout package. Earlier this year, insignificant foreign reserves at Sri Lanka's central bank and the loss of access to international capital market led to the country defaulting on debt and marking a first. China, which is currently reeling under pressure of a massive healthcare crumble due to the surge of COVID-19 cases as the country relaxed its zero-COVID policy after public protest is facing yet another crisis and that is unemployment. A report by the CNN stated that the communist country is witnessing a rising number of unemployment in cities and towns. The report also stated that about one out of every five Chinese in the big city are out of jobs due to severe unemployment as a result of COVID pandemic as the country faces economic down spiral as top companies operating in China laid off their employees. South Korea scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters after North Korean drones violated its airspace. South Korea also fired warning shots after the incident. A report by AFP quoted Seoul's Joint Chief of Staff who said that several North Korean unmanned aerial vehicles invaded our airspace. The incident took place after South Korea tracked the drones crossing from North Korea over what is known as the military demarcation line between the two countries. Days after China witnessed a sudden surge in COVID-19 cases in the country after it relaxed its zero-COVID policy, after massive public backlash, Chinese President Xi Jinping urged the officials to take steps to feasibly protect public life. In first remark on the COVID, since China dramatically loosened its stringent zero-COVID policy, she said, and I quote, We should launch a patriotic health campaign in a more targeted way, fortify a community line of defense for epidemic prevention and control, and feasibly protect people's life, safety and health. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.